what is polyisocyanate and what is its uses? Now, this is an industrial product. It's widely used in the manufacture of rigid foams, fibres and things like coatings such as paint, varnishes, adhesives and much, much more. Now, if you do a search on this product, then every search you do will actually mention its industrial uses. But you will never once see it being mentioned in beauty products. So in this case, why is it being used in a product that is sold to the beauty industry and designed to be used on humans? And even worse, designed to be used on the eyes. Now there is a simple reason for this, is that most lash glues are not produced as human grade. They are industrial grade adhesives, hence the industrial stabilizers in them, such as polyisocyanate. Now what happens is they're just bottled and labelled to look pretty and then sold to unsuspecting lash suppliers and lash artists like yourselves who are then putting their trust into these manufacturers that what they are selling to the lash world is safe. But instead they are simply bottling industrial glue and selling it to be used to stick lashes on people. It is that simple and actually really scary. So if you think about it, this is so, so, so criminal, but with no one overarching agency to police this, it's being allowed to happen. And even in the UK, where our standards supersede those across the globe, lash glue is not yet classed as a cosmetic product, which means that any grade of lash glue can come into the UK and be sold. And this is why it's happening, even in a country with supposedly high standards. So in other countries with standards that fall far short of ours, no wonder these cheap low grade products are easily being made with no one policing them. So what are the health risks of isocyanates? Now firstly, they are powerful irritants to the mucase membranes of the eyes and the respiratory tracts. And continued exposure can cause persistent eye irritation, nasal congestion, that dry or sore throat, uh, cold light symptoms, if you can get a cough, and shortness of breath. Um, add to that wheezing, tight chest, and just think about it, does that sound familiar to any of you? Because I know it certainly does to me, and it's how my symptoms first started, which then led me on this journey of discovering, I didn't go out to find it, but discovering the truth behind our lash products. Now, the absolutely crazy thing is, is that industries that use this product, this ingredient, they are trained to use it correctly. And they have to wear the correct PPE to use this, yet most lash artists firstly have no idea this is in their lash glue, and if they did, they still wouldn't know what it is. And they also don't wear any type of PPE when working with these low grade or industrial grade glues. So they are so susceptible to it. No wonder so many people are getting those symptoms. Now guys, this is really, really scary stuff. And even scarier is that it's happening now and many of you have no idea what you were exposing yourself to. And sadly, even though many of you are buying from reputable companies who believe what they are selling is safe, it's actually not. Because if they knew their ingredients the way that I do, and you know, it's because of the research, the journey that I've been on, then they wouldn't be buying in this toot, okay? They too, like you, are not educated on the truth behind lash glues because the information isn't easy to find. Now, I've been researching this for 10 years now and it's only because I was so, so sick that I had no choice but to find an alternative and that's how this journey began and how I, as I say, I fell down that rabbit hole of learning what really, really goes on. So please, please, please find out where your lash glue is made. And if it's in the Far East, please really consider your choices. Now, these are countries where these products are produced for so cheap. And they're cheap for a reason. Because high-grade cyanoacrylate and specifically developed stabilizers for beauty-grade lash glue do not come cheap. So your suppliers that are buying from the Far East are buying in lash glue for as little as a dollar and marking it up from about 20 to $50. And this makes you think it's really high grade. And this is not to bash suppliers, but they honestly believe that what they're buying is safe. They're taking the word of those manufacturers. So they are not intentionally supplying you with crap. Now, to keep you and your clients safe, please, like I said, consider only investing in suppliers who manufacture in Europe due to the very high standards there. But also consider the USA and even South Africa is known to have better standards. However, I'm not aware of many lash glue suppliers out in those other countries. Now, as for ingredients lists and material safety data sheets, which I get asked a lot on, sadly, many of these are false. 
and with no one to police them, this will continue to go on with false safety data sheets coming into our countries. Now, finally, I'm starting to see lash artists take note of this subject and slowly suppliers are starting to switch over to having their liquid products made in the UK due to all of the above. But before they were not aware of the issues, but now they are. And it's so great to see that they're actually finally taking steps to do their bit. And I ask that you do yours too and support these ethical suppliers. So please, please, please you know, find out where your products are made for and go with those companies that are trying to do their best for your health. Now, don't forget, I produce safe adhesives and I'm really, really passionate about this subject. So if you are looking to change and you want any more information on my liquid and adhesives, then please just drop me a DM. Look, I'm always more than happy to speak to you directly to assist you because I know obviously it can be a big thing. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, um, pop them in the comments or feel free to DM me. I always reply to every message that I get. So yeah, just um, get in touch and um, thank you again for watching.